PCI uh, vascular and endovascular surgery, uh, we are vascular surgeons, and, and that tends to be a confusing term for people. Uh, there's a lot of uh, overlap uh, uh, in terms of uh, patients that are seen by multiple different specialties. And uh, in the vascular space, uh, you have uh, cardiothoracic surgeons who are the heart surgeons, and they, they do lung surgery as well. And then on the medical side of things, you have uh, cardiologists who uh, manage uh, heart disease. Uh, but uh, interventional cardiologists will often uh, branch out into uh, some of the uh, peripheral arterial space as well. So the kind of patients that will uh, uh, tend to come to our clinic, uh, we'll see patients for uh, uh, you know problems with their legs. Either they have pain with walking or they have a, a sore uh, that they can't heal, or uh, they'll have... Uh, pain when they're standing still, uh, like uh, when they're, they're working and their legs tend to throb and itch and burn. And those, you know, those are more of the, the, the venous side of things. Sometimes venous patients can develop wounds that they can't heal as well. Uh, we'll see patients uh, with um, issues of blockages in the arteries in their neck, and that can lead to uh, stroke um, or put them at risk for stroke. Um, and uh, we have various ways of dealing with that. Uh, we'll see patients for blockages of the arteries that are inside their, their, uh, their belly, either to the kidneys or to their intestines. Uh, we'll see patients that have, uh, instead of the arteries uh, plugging up, uh, sometimes in certain circumstances, uh, the artery will actually start to uh, break down a little bit and then it begins to expand and balloon out, and that's called an aneurysm, and those can occur really anywhere in the body, but most commonly we see them in the aorta, which is the largest uh, blood vessel in the, uh, in the body, in the, uh, in the abdomen, and uh, we'll see them in the legs as well and elsewhere. Um, all of those uh, various problems have uh, minimally invasive and uh, maximally invasive uh, um, modalities of, uh, of treatment and repair. Vascular surgeons kind of stand alone in that we specialize in just one single area. Um, I, uh, I often have to correct people uh, when they ask uh, what, I, uh, what I do, and I, I say that, well, I do vascular surgery, and, and they say, oh, so you operate on the heart. I'm like, no, no, I don't operate on the heart. It's, it's, uh, I tell them it's, it's the blood vessels that are outside of the heart and outside of the brain, uh, pretty much all the other ones. Uh, vascular surgeons are uniquely uh, trained uh, in that uh, we can do everything from the most uh, minimally invasive types of treatments on arteries and veins to uh, maximal surgery in the OR, uh, uh, you know, the kind of stuff that you might, you know, see on TV or in, in a movie with, uh, you know, incisions and sewing arteries together, uh, things like that. Um, we, uh, and because we have uh, those skill sets, I think that we're uniquely positioned to really think about what uh, a patient uh, will most benefit from in terms of intervention. Um, one of, the, uh, one of the, the things that I'm always thinking about, uh, if, I, if I'm working on a patient say they have a blockage in their leg and I want to uh, restore flow down to their foot, well, there are many different ways to do that. Um, and uh, I have the, uh, the luxury of understanding, um, you know, what, uh, what could be coming down the road in terms of surgery versus an endovascular approach. And so every, everything I do, um, I'm always thinking about what the next step is. What, uh, uh, what are uh, going to be my options down the road? If I, if I choose to deal with this uh, problem in this way, does that close the door on another option uh, later? And um, the only way to, to, to really know that and understand that is by, uh, is, is by having uh, all those options available to you. Um, and so I think that I think that in terms of patient care, that's a real advantage that vascular surgeons uh, can offer over some of the other specialties that we sort of overlap with in the, in the Venn diagram of uh, treatment of vascular diseases.